Okay, this is Mario once again, and I'm riding my go-kart that I just finished uh, putting together. I made this pan here. You can't see it uh, too well here in the dark. Uh, I am... Let's pull this over by the light here. See, light pole. See if we can get a little more light here. But um, basically, it's a steel pan. Uh, made from a sheet metal. I had the sheet metal part of a, a wheelchair that uh, my neighbor gave me a while back. So I've been repurposing some of that, those components, parts. So I made a nice uh, little tray here for these uh, batteries. Um, as you can see them, this um, two Ryobis and the trays underneath and it's well padded and it's bolted along with this T-bracket that supports my, my foot rests here made out of the same one and a half inch S square tubing. So it's working out really nice. The, the nice thing about having these at the front is also that I can do this and it'll give me a readout of how much uh, battery capacity I have I have you utilized. I mean I went around the block uh, uh, a good three times around maybe uh, um, maybe uh, two or three miles total um, and I've used one notch of these lights here there's four four not four LEDs here my voltage reading is at 37.4 I started at 40 uh, close to 41 uh, volts fully charged same thing here I have my readout here both of them are reading the same I have um, one two three notches there so I have I still have power here left over um, my light is uh, just a regular electric bike uh, light lamp I'm going to uh, put two lamps there. I, I already ordered the lamps, you know, to mount them at the front end there, so it looks a little bit more uh, like a like a car, you know, with lights, uh, headlights at the front. Uh, I have a blinker at the tail, which needs recharging. If I can find it, yeah, that blinker needs recharging. So I have one there, you know, for safety. And I have another one right here, mounted here, you know, just for safety. Um, I have a brake button here. This is my brake button, just a, just a push on, push off type button that um, does uh, low braking. I need to connect the high braking and, and see how that works. Uh, because uh, the low braking uh, tends to, um, it, it doesn't brake right away. So, you know, you almost have to use your feet. I'm using my, my feet, you know, to put additional braking. But the good thing is that, you know, I can do this, you know, as the car is moving, I can use my heels, you know, to kind of brake against the ground. So it's, because uh, this is a very low profile um, go-kart having wheels that are 200 millimeters in diameter by two inches. These are brand new wheels, aluminum wheels that I just got. The pattern of the tire matches the same pattern. Is on these uh, uh, motors here that, that are also part of the wheel. These brushes motors that came off from a hoverboard. So um, so yeah, it's running really sweet. Um, my seat, I finished my seat, so let me stand up and see if we can capture that at night. Because this is the only time that I can uh, I can do some running during the day. It's too hot uh, to do any running, and I prefer to do it at night when there's no no traffic as well and uh, I can you know safely and and uh, quietly and calmly go around my neighborhood here uh, this area right here my cul-de-sac they're going to repave this resurface this, uh, this area so this is a little bit rough but uh, over there where that car's passing it's really nice and smooth because they just finished do doing that so I've been riding up and down that that section there we're going to go there and hopefully I'll, I'll be able to catch it on my my phone here so my seat to my uh, footrest distance is is, uh, is a lot more comfortable than before because I move my seat back um, a few inches so let's see I'm sure there are no cars coming here Okay, now we're heading up uphill here. I 
Oh, it's a very nice ride, especially today, because it's, uh, it's very breezy, and I can feel the breeze in my face, which is really a, a nice feeling, you know, just sitting low here, and so it's really, really a nice ride, very sweet ride, best way I can describe it, uh, provided uh, this rides on a uh, smooth surface as you see it here. This is brand, brand new uh, asphalt, we just did this section right here, and we break it my braking here. Oh man, mosquitoes are, are out to the, today too, so they're biting. I did put some mosquito repellent, but uh, they get me somehow. Okay, so I'm going to turn around here, make sure there are no cars coming. And this turns on a dime. It's very, very nice turning here, radi radius. down here or here so I don't have to use that much power. My power is at uh, if you drop down uh, a bolt 46.8. We're just cruising on this uh, this is a uh, oh, the wind here. I don't know if my camera can uh, catch uh, the the sound of the wind on my face. It's going down here with is coming, I have to be very careful here, even though it's at night. Typically there are no people, no cars running around this neighborhood, but uh, I still have to be careful, super careful. I'm just going to go down all the way down and then come back up, which is something that uh, my other batteries, uh, these Ryobi batteries are, are working really, really well. Ryobis are brand new, 18 volt, just regular Ryobi, 18 volt, 4 amp batteries. If I put um, uh, two sets of these batteries, which uh, will be a little bit heavier, you know, the car, but it'll give me a little more runtime, I think, with uh, a little more power, because the power does not work out as much when you have a, you know, a little more capacity. So, let's see if I can go by the schoolyard here. A little bit of a rough, uh, a little bit of a rough terrain here because this is not as well. This is brand new too, but not as new as the, the, the area that I was just riding through. So we're heading towards a uh, school. I still, have, I still have my blinkers here just for safety, so anybody can from behind can see me. I ordered some uh, mirrors that I can put here so that I can see from the back. Okay, let's see how rough this is. This area right here. Okay, so we're going to enter my the schoolyard. This is where my kids uh, used to go. Grammar school up the hill here. And just go around here. I was racing around here the other night. Exiting through the entrance here, but since nobody's here, I think we're all good. I'm just gonna go around my neighbor people. So one thing I have to do is I have to strap these batteries 
because I was, I was in a hurry today just to get this, um, this plate going and install the batteries at the front, but at least they're, they're static. But they, they do rattle because they're not strapped. going to enter the uh, the nice area here, the nice uh, road. Make sure I break here. Okay, let's go up again. And then I'll come back and that'll, that'll be alright. I am my battery is at 33.9, 34 volts, so it's 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 low. I'm going to stop it that way at the top there and then um, uh, let the batteries uh, recharge or not recharge but uh, you know settle and then that should give me a little more power you know to come back here even though I'm going to be going down again okay so I'm gonna stop right here and let's see where the batteries are at okay let's see what notch is it on I got two notches I can still go down to one so it, it does have still a little bit of juice there. Well, half, half, half of the, the juice, I would say. So I can still go around if I wanted to. Um, so yeah, let's go around one more time. 36 volts. 36 volts. Um, in order to keep this video short, I'm, I'm not going to do that. Because it's going to be a long video here. So I'm just going to go there. Let's just go all the way up here. So that end, dead end there. As you can see, you know, at night uh, it's very quiet around here. You know, the roads are, uh, you know, not populated. Very, very quiet. It's a quiet neighborhood. And I'm riding with one hand here. I'm turning. Like I said, it turns really sweet. Very precise. Very precise. With the, 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 did and I was running that not too long ago. This has a market pattern control and that one. That one I'm going to take the time and now uh, once I'm done with this, which I'm, which I'm almost done, you know, this is pretty much done. This is cart testing and uh, uh, there's not much more I can do except, you know, just uh, put up a front panel here in the, in the front, you know, with switches for, for lights, for, for a reverse, for uh, cruise control. Um, working on that panel. Other than that, I, this, this project is pretty much finished, so I'm going to go back to my other work car, the racing one, although it looks like it's going to rain, I just felt a little drop of water. So I have to go home really quick and start putting things inside, because up to this point, these past three days, it's been uh, dry, but this wind is, uh, is sure showing some signs that uh, it's showing signs that it feels like it's going to pour anytime soon here, so I'm going to... Uh, Call it a call it a night. That was fun. Okay, entering my gate. Let me open my gate. Entering the bad cave. <laughs> oh, here we go. And this is the area where I, I run it, but it's not big enough, you know, to... This is very smooth, by the way, because it's cement. It's concrete here. Fairly new. That's my other race, racing go-kart, which I'm going to finish. And there's a couple of scooters that I modified also. It's got the Ryobi battery sockets right there. That one is going to be the same as that one, so I have to modify this one. And I am, I'm also going to 
elongate the, t this, the, the, the tail section so that the seat can be mounted the regular way because I have the seats backwards in order to give me a, just a little more uh, room from the seating area to where the feet rest. And I did that because, you know, for an adult, it's uh, the other way around, the way they, they, these are typically uh, uh, designed. You know, it's just too close to the front, and I think they did that just for to establish the uh, center of mass, you know, at the proper point. But if I elongate the section right here, I can put the seat, seat regularly, and it'll be sit, sitting behind a little further than what you see it there. You know, so the stem, the, the post will, will come down like this instead of being, you know, like this, even though this is, the seat is backwards. But, you know, th this has a tendency to, if you lean too far back, you know, you can do a wheelie. So that's not too safe that way but you know with the modification elongating the tail section it'll be fine um, here's my uh, this is my my racing go-kart and you know check out those other videos and, and see if I can uh, see if I can grab a, a video of this guy here because this is a sweet sweet little rider the way I did this it came out so good, but kind of similar to the uh, to the original one that I did that has a three foot um, wheel to wheel bay, uh, uh, distance. The one I did with telescopic tubing. This is kind of the same concept, you know, just just with a center center tube. I didn't want to go too complex with two 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 bars, you know, kind of kind of like a like a train track. Uh, you don't you don't you don't need to do that you know you just need you know something solid and this is giving me that that uh, solidity but I cannot get over you know my my uh, my control here uh, I did have to weld this 316s uh, steel you know the, just a regular uh, steel stock cold I think this is cold rolled steel you can get this at Home Depot uh, at um, 36 inch bar was like uh, $25, $30, or something like that. You know, it's not cheap, but I am so glad I did it because even though this was a little bit of work, you know, trying to, uh, I, I sliced this uh, just a little bit, almost halfway down the uh, the thickness of the the stock to get it to bend, but it's, it was bending, it was cracking, and so it didn't it didn't it didn't fall off. Um, that, that's a good thing that it, it, it didn't fall off, so I still had the bend, and it was the, the part was still, you know, in, in the C shape. And then I just came back and uh, welded, you know, the uh, the outside and the inside, you know, put uh, some nice beads of um, uh, so, uh, the weld uh, uh, metal there. The same thing here, I welded this on an angle there to establish my, you know, the acre man that's giving me the, uh, you know, positive positive. Uh, positive uh, control and if you can see the wheels they're wearing out nice and even at the center look at that you can see just a little bit of a darker uh, 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 gray here from the from the rubber but this is this is an indication that the wheel is is true as it's spinning on both sides so there's no excessive wear on either side as opposed to this wheel that was wearing wearing a little too much on this side right here uh, and this tends to tends to rub you know with that and, I'm, and I lose power because you know the motors are trying to push this while the wheels kind of trying to skid because I don't have the uh, something happened here with, with the angles the way I did this uh, and I talk about that in another video so I'm not gonna go too much into that uh, detail here but that's that's a, that's also a nice go-kart more in line with the uh, racing go-kart uh, dimensions and um, characteristics and architecture but this right here is my, my favorite so far it's very simple uh, it's not as heavy as that other one. I, I can still pick the, this one up. You know, it's it's uh, uh, you know it takes. Uh, I I would say right now it's probably a good. Uh, I would say it's probably a good 80 pounds because I can still pick pick that up with. Uh, yeah, so I would have to put that on the scale to be uh, be exact, but I think it's about 80, 80 pounds. It's something that you know an average person can uh, an average. Um, guy can 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 or, or girl you know sometimes the girls are pretty strong too you know you can you can pick this up um so yeah those um, those aluminum wheels are are very very nice wheels really really enhance the the look of the uh, the cart here i'm gonna have to do another video at, in the morning here but uh those wheels are uh very sweet they're uh solid tires you know there's no no air um 
and they're they're aluminum. They're aluminum, same same size as the other one, so everything's parallel here with the ground. Very low low rider. In turns, I I I, I lean. I when I t make a turn, a, a fast turn to the right or the left, I tend to lean in um, in direction of that turn. Um, you know, just to keep my my weight uh, in line, you know, with the with the um, with the center of mass, and and just to not allow the the car to to tip over. Uh, and it, uh, it it it's it it turns on a dime, like I said. It's uh, it's very very uh, very precise and very uh, and very not not so sensitive, but it's it's very very comfortable. Um, so anyway, Mario once again with my microflight. And this is my uh, my latest project. I'm so happy how it turned out. Look at my other videos if you care to uh, look at the all the, the the process and all the things that I've done up to this point. Stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.